Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing inverse Laplace transform, convolution theorem, problem number 4 and 5. Welcome back friends, let's move on and let's discuss problem number 4 and 5. Problem number 4 is s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 8 the whole square. Friends, remember the note that we have discussed in type number one, one of the most important note. And what is that? Whenever we get quadratic equation in the denominator, perfect square. See here, in both the examples, we getting quadratic equation in the denominator. Therefore, we going to do perfect square in the both the examples. This will be Laplace inverse of, let us do perfect square. And we know how to do it, right? We're going to take square root of this. This sign in between. Half of this. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. The whole square. If we open this, what we're going to get? We'll get s square plus 4s plus 4. But here I want 8. So I need to make an adjustment of 4. And this is whole square. So this is my given problem. We got a quadratic equation and perfect square. What next? Now, can you see shifting in this particular problem? Yes or no? Yes. It's clearly visible. Shifting is there in the problem. S is shifted by plus 2, plus 2. So, what you want to take outside? E raised to minus 2t. E raised to minus 2t will be outside. Laplace inverse of. Forget about the shifting. See here. And what whatever you see, write it down as it is. So, it will be S is square upon s square plus 4 the whole square so this is after removing the shifting now what next after that we're going to consider this particular term as your phi of s consider it remember this have you seen this problem before yes or no have you seen this problem before Yes, we did see it. Problem number one. See, it's exactly similar. In problem number one, it was <coughs> s square upon s square plus 4 the whole square. s square plus a square the whole square in problem number one. But here it is s square upon s square plus 4 the whole square. In short, in problem number one, a square is here 4. That means a is equal to 2. So that is it. What you gonna do? You gonna follow problem number one. See how to follow problem number one? You need to find out two terms phi 1 s and phi 2 s and so on. Exactly follow problem number one. Exactly follow problem number one and after following this you will get the result of this particular term is 1 upon 2 t cos a t. You can go back and check t cos a t but here a is 2 because a square is 4 so a is 2 so t cos 2t plus sin a t but sin a t a is a 2 here upon a that is 2. This is your required solution for problem for this problem but this is not my problem. This is not my the given question. What is my given problem? This is my given problem. Therefore finally Laplace inverse of s plus 2 the whole square upon s square plus 4s plus 8 the whole square what will be the solution of this see here this is equivalent to this this e raised to minus 2t i am going to keep it as it is into laplace inverse of this particular term and what is laplace inverse of this particular term laplace inverse of this particular term is this so i am going to write it down here that is 1 upon 2 t cos 2t plus sin 2t upon 2 that is it hope you understood but while copying this example please don't write like this i have this facility of writing like this but you don't have facility this is important problem you need to solve completely solve completely how you can uh, proceed uh, further phi 1s is s upon s square plus 4 phi 2s is s upon s square plus uh, 4 uh, then you need to find out f1t, f2t and apply ct and so on. So please solve completely and try to get this. So that is homework for you. Let us move on. We're done with problem number 4. Let's discuss problem number 5. Again the same story. Whenever we get quadratic equation in the denominator, perfect square. 
see here let us uh, make it perfect square square root of this that is s in between this sign half of this the whole square if you open you will get s square plus 6 s plus 9 but what you want you want 5 we getting 9 what needs to be done minus 4 so it will be minus 4 here it is the whole square is this clear now you can see the shifting here s is shifted by plus 3 therefore e raised to minus 3t will come out laplace inverse of if you remove shifting forget about the shifting it will be s square upon forget about the shifting s square minus 4 the whole square did you find this example similar to what we did problem number 2 exactly similar to problem number 2 consider let's take this individually s square upon s square minus 4 the whole square follow problem number 2 if you follow problem number 2 problem number 2 was s square upon s square minus a square the whole square right and if you remember the solution you, you solve by yourself that was t cos h a t but a is 2 here plus sin h a t upon a so this is your solution for this particular part we are not done completely because my final solution is to find laplace inverse of this term not this term the final laplace inverse s plus 3 the whole square upon s square plus 6s plus 5 the whole square is equal to see here this is equivalent to this particular uh, expression e raised to minus 3t i am going to write it down as it is into laplace inverse of this and what is laplace inverse of this term in this equation so this two i'm going to keep it as here and after that this t cos h2t plus sin h2t upon 2 so this is your required solution for problem number 5 we're done with it hope you understood thank you